I welcome you to weekly math challenge number 75. Before I show you the question as always, I want to go over a few points. There is going to be one question posted every Wednesday, US time. I highly encourage you to comment your answer below along with an explanation, keeping in mind that only unedited non-reply comments will be accepted. Up to the first 10 people to post correct solutions to the problem will be recognized in the next video like this. Congratulations, Vampianist 3 for being the very first person to correctly answer the last week's challenge. This time, we have 7 more winners to recognize. Congratulations, Bishoy Nebil, Hiran Bavaskar, as Winnie Banerjee. Congratulations, Daolian Dodge, Rishabh Gupta, Adam Depp. And last but not least, congratulations in frustration. For in frustration, I decided to accept his or her comment even though it is edited, since the reason I implemented no edit rule was to ensure that there is no ambiguity on who the first 10 winners are, and since we had less than 10 winners for this week, I decided to include in frustration on this list. But in general, please remember that your comment should not be edited if you want it to be considered for recognition. Anyway, it's time to look at this week's challenge. Let a sub n be the set containing sine of natural log 1, sine of natural log 2, all the way to sine of natural log n, and let b sub n be the same thing, except all the signs are replaced with cosines. Furthermore, let a sub n bar be the arithmetic mean of a sub n, and let b sub n bar be the arithmetic mean of b sub n. Find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n bar times cosine of natural log of n minus b sub n bar times sine of natural log of n.